वेलकम टू एम जी इज अकेडमी टूडे वी आर स्टार्टिंग विद अ न्यू लेसन दैट इज एरिया दिस इज आर फिफ्थ स्टैंडर्ड आई पी एम सीरीज सो लेट एस स्टार्ट इट एरिया एरिया इज सच ए टॉपिक विच इज इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड इट इज सिंपल so let us first understand the definition of area means what is area the amount of surface of a plane plane is any surface which is there the like that uh, of a book or a plane of this board covered by a closed figure so this is a closed figure of a square this board and the it is called the area the amount of surface of this plane of the board it covers is called the area of that board so this is a square board it has its own area and the area which is that it is measured means the units of the area are square meter square centimeter or square units meter if the lengths which are given in meter so we'll use square meter if they are in centimeters then square centimeter or square units if there is no such units are given so this is the basic definition of area and there are some formulas that needed to be learned of the shapes area is basically the amount of surface surface carried by the shapes which are there and we need to know the formulas how to find the area of that shape so let us understand the formulas so here are the formulas that we have to learn about these three shapes in this standard area of a rectangle area of a square and area of a triangle so what is area of a rectangle so let us first draw a rectangle area of a rectangle area means the length and breadth is of a rectangle the sides this is also the um, sorry this is the length and this is the breadth this is the length and this is the breadth there are two breadths and two lengths and the area of the rectangle means the length and the breadth multiplied so if the length and the breadth are given just multiply to find the rectangle area next is the area of a square square is just a part of a rectangle and this is all the sides of the square are equal this is also the multiplication of length and breadth but the length and breadth are equal so we write side into side which is the area of a square next is the area of a triangle area of a triangle so this is a triangle with us so here we have to find the area of this triangle so this is the height of the triangle this is the base of the triangle which is half into the base and into the height so how we derive this formula if we see this is the triangle and if we join this triangle like this we can see that it is a quadrilateral or betterly called a square or a rectangle so it is just half of the rectangle this is the breadth and the length of the rectangle and half of the area of the rectangle is by the triangle so that is why we multiplied the half to this formula so let us take an example on this concept area of the rectangle if length is 1.2 meter and breadth is 50 cm so here we have to find the area of rectangle in this we have to multiply the length into the breadth that is the formula but here we can see that length is 1.2 meter and to breadth which is 50 cm so the conversion or the units are not the same so we have to convert the units so it is better for us to convert the units of meter to centimeter that is why we would avoid the decimal which is there in our multiplication 
so let us convert this we know that 1 meter is equals to 100 centimeter so 1.2 meter would be just 120 centimeter so let us use this conversion in our multiplication so let us write our basic which is that 120 centimeter into 50 centimeter so let us multiply here 120 into 50 our rules just say that we have to take this 0 aside and multiply 12 into 5 so 12 fiza is 60 take this uh, after taking this two zeros aside we'll add to these two zeros to the answer so it becomes 6000 what our unit should be because centimeter is there and here also centimeter so our unit which is there to be added after 6000 is 6000 square centimeter so that was our question so this is our next question if the area and the perimeter of the square are equal then we have to find its side so in this case here we can see that the area what is the formula for the area of a square it is the side into side which is equal to side squared and the formula for our perimeter is 4 into the side so here we can see that both are equal so here we have to write this in the format of an equation if equal sign comes there is the first, uh, sign that we have to find the equation so we'll write side into side is equals to 4 into side so this side and this side gets cancelled the multiplication and what remains is side is equals to 4 so here we can clearly see that our side is equals to 4 units so here we have got our answer so let us prove it if the side is 4 the area would be 4 into 4 which is equals to 16 square unit and the a a perimeter would be 4 into 4 which is the side it is 16 units so here we can see if our side is 4 units then its area and also its perimeter are equal. So this is our completion of this lecture and please subscribe, like and share to MGS Maths and Science Academy. After subscribing you are supporting this academy to make such new and interesting videos. So please subscribe.